USB condenser microphone. Get the pop filter, the microphone. It's got a shock mount, little tripod, wind muff. It's got a Type C connector so I can connect it. Standard and Type C. Reverb control. Oh yeah. Volume control and a button mute. So here's the pop filter. USB cord. That's a shock mount, so if you hit the table where it's on, or wherever it's standing from, it doesn't rattle. So this is a nice little stand. It's metal, nothing too complicated about the stand. And it screws right on there. This is the USB to USB-C adapter. So this will actually hook into my iPad. Here's the microphone. Sorry, got that on there. Things I like about this microphone, it has like this echo. It may be cheesy, but sometimes I like to add a little echo to my voice instead of sounding flat. There's the volume control, and then you got the headphones, so I can plug in my headphones so I can monitor the sound. And this is the mute button at the bottom that lights up. So this is testing the new microphone. A couple things that I realized, it actually has like a uh, gate on it. So if you're not talking, it will cut off, so you'll hear it breathing in and out. Second thing, since it is a cardioid pattern, you need to make sure that the buttons are facing towards you to get the optimal sound. The volume button actually controls the output to whatever you're recording. So it's not the volume to your headphones. It is actually the volume to your output. So right now I'm using LumaFusion and I can see the levels going in and out and I can adjust the, the level with that. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the echo. All right, now, 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 turn, turn, turn on, on the echo. echo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the now one thing, one thing about, about this echo, echo, the echo chamber is you have to adjust it with your fingers. So, and it actually goes onto the track. When you put it in there, it's in there for life. I, I really like this stand. You get the pop filter with it. The microphone sounds pretty good. The echo and this mute button is nice and handy and it, it goes blue if it's active. So you know the microphone's on and when it's red, the, the, it's muted. In order to get out of the noise reduction mode, you're gonna press the mute, unmute button for about three seconds. And then it opens up all the time. So now you can hear the background noise. It was hard to find it in the instructions. I like it. Definitely a good bargain. If you have any questions, leave them down in the basement. And remember, take care of each other. Peace out. I'll see you all soon.